Well, I've just completed this measurement session here on this roof cross member, and it's a cylindrical piece. It's a tube that's got some weldments on it. And what I've got left are a few dimensions that I would like to go through and show you guys how we can add some nominal content and some tolerance content. So I've completed all the measurement that I wanted to, and I've also done the dimensions that I wanted to on here. Now I'm just going to go right into Review Features. I'm just going to pull up the last few of these dimensions here that were ballooned on my drawing. And what I'm going to do is add some nominal content and some tolerance content to these as well. And I do this once in a while. When I get done measuring a part, I'll do all of my dimensioning that's based on the balloon drawing. And then I will come in and do the nominal and the tolerance content after. So I'm going to highlight this dimension 45A. I had two dimensions there. And what those dimensions were, just a simple point-to-point -point dimension that was taken from a trim edge of one of the mounts back to the outside of this tube. Must have been for some packaging or something that was going to fit between there. But that dimension was showing up on my drawing as dimension 45A. Now, I'm just doing it in the Y component here, and it looks like it's pretty close to that four and a half inch dimension. Well, my ballooned drawing happens to have that same number on it as a Y component, and the dimension actually as a nominal is 4.4 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of those dimensions, run up to the nominals tab here, and then I'm going to go to this icon here, the 0.0, .0 which means I am going to hand key in my value. And then this dialog box comes up, and the dimension that I'm truly concerned with is only the Y component. And I've already gotten this into an alignment and a coordinate system that makes sense for the dimensions on the drawing. So the Y component is where that dimension will show up. And that happens to be a 4.4 inch dimension. Now Pharaoh assumes it's going to be a nominal, which is great. And it's putting it into the coordinate system of the world, which is the coordinate system that I'm measuring in. So I am okay with that. Now, look what it does here. It will develop this nominal dimension, 45A. It's calling it 002. So I am just going to say, let's get rid of that 002. And then I'm going to say OK to that. Now, notice what it's done here in Review Features. It's constructed this nominal dimension, 45A. And what it's doing is it's associating that nominal dimension to the two measured dimensions that I have highlighted here. My screen, they show up black though, but I've got both of those highlighted. So if I go to the Report tab, now you'll notice that the 4.4 is showing up in this nominal section of my criteria. Now I've got a little bit different tolerance on here. This is a default that's coming through the system, but I've got a different tolerance that's associated to this dimension here on the drawing, because on the drawing, I've got plus or minus 60 thousandths for that dimension. Since I'm going from a trim edge to an edge of a tube, that drawing tolerance can be pretty liberal. So I'm going to say, double-clicking here in the Y component, and then highlighting that 5, changing that to a 6, and doing the same with the lower, changing that to a 6. Now back to the Report tab, it took care of both the 45A1 and 2, and it's associating it to the nominal 4.4 with this updated tolerance of 60 thousandths, plus or minus. So I'm just a little bit out of spec on both of those, but what's nice is I've got both of them highlighted right now as the criteria. So anything I do to the nominal association or the tolerance will be applied to both of those dimensions. The next thing I want to do is look at dimension 46, and I will grab all four of those dimensions that are 46. Now those on the drawing, the ballooned drawing, will show that they are dimensioned out at two inches exactly. So I'm going to go to the Nominals tab, click on that, and then I'm going to hand key in 0.0. .0. I am going to hand key in the value of 2 in the length. The length is what I'm associating that dimension to, so I'm going to say OK with that. Uh, so it labeled it with the 004 behind it. I'm going to get rid of that 004 and just call it dimension 46. It just so happens that it's naming it the dimension 46004 because out of that group of four, that was the last label that it was seeing. So I'll say OK to that. And then notice I've got all four of those dimensions now have a nominal of 
two inches to them. All right, now this dimension of two inches is a distance between a hole pattern, and that's a pretty tight tolerance on that one. So the 50 thousandths tolerance, plus or minus, is not relevant to this dimensional criteria. So I'll go to the Tolerances tab, and then length is what's checked here. This is plus or minus 10 thousandths on the drawing. So I'll change that to plus or minus 10 thousandths. And then I go back to the report tab just to make sure that that plus or minus 10 shows up in my tolerance criteria. And it looks like it's done that with all four of those. So I am okay with that. Now the last dimension I had was an overall length between the whole patterns from left to right side of this tube. And it was 62 inches-ish. And if I look at my drawing for dimension 47, that nominal dimension is 62 inches and 656 thousandths. So 62, 656. So I'm going to say, go to the nominals tab, and I'm going to hand key that in with this 0.0, .0 icon right here. And then the length is what I'm looking at here. That dimension is 62.656. I'll say OK to that. And dimension 47002 was the last one of that grouping, so that's what it assumes the name would be. So I'm going to get rid of the 002 and say OK to that nominal dimension, 47. Now report tab, you should see that show up underneath the nominal now, the 62656. And again, here the 50 thousandths plus or minus doesn't apply. So I'm going to go to the tolerances tab, and I'm going to change that criteria. That's actually plus or minus 10 thousandths as well. So I'll double click on both of those for plus or minus 10. And then I go to the Reports tab, and I take a look at how that criteria came out. It's very close to that plus or minus 10 thousandths. It looks like it's a little bit thin on both of those whole patterns. This one's a little bit out of spec by almost 2 thousandths, and this one's pretty close to that 10 thousandths. So what I would probably end up doing is measuring a handful of these parts to see how consistent this overall dimension deviation would end up being for dimension 47 and then making a shim move or a drill move or something in the manufacturing process to accommodate for this mean shift of 10 thousandths-ish that's coming out of the, the deviation. So that's a pretty quick way of adding nominal criteria and tolerance criteria to your dimensions that you've already captured on your parts. Mm -hmm.